Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, I am super excited to be out fishing again. Uh, this is my first time out in a month because of COVID. It is a cold day out here today. It is two degrees. For those of you in, the, in Fahrenheit, that's around 38, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is a cold morning. It's supposed to warm up though in the afternoon quite a bit more than it is now. So I uh, have very different conditions this afternoon versus this morning. It's pretty calm. It's a beautiful day out here and I am looking forward to getting on some fish. This episode is the one where I am trying to catch as many inches of pike as I can for the contest that was in the last episode. So let's just get right to it. Okay, everybody. We are on to our first of the day. Took about 10 minutes and it is on the new angling spider spoon. It doesn't feel like a big one, but it doesn't matter. Now, one of my challenges today is gonna be handling these fish in this colder water because the water is cold, it's starting to cool off here in the fall and I don't want my hands to be freezing all day. So uh, that's gonna be a challenge. So there's a catch. Now, as everybody knows, I'm doing the contest where I gotta measure the inches. So it isn't, it isn't good enough just to catch the fish here. I've gotta measure it. All right, you guys. <laughs> You know, month not being on the water, I'm already making mistakes. <laughs> I shut off the camera to get that fish off and I forgot to turn it back on and I didn't get the release or the measurement. I can tell you I got the fish off. It was not a big one, it was 21 inches. So we're on the board with the first fish at 21 inches and uh, <laughs> I gotta get back in the game here in terms of remembering how to do this YouTube thing. <sighs> All right. It is about five minutes later. <laughs> Fish number two. I knew this pattern would work, you guys. When I asked Len Thompson to design this spoon, I was really not thinking about my logo this time. Like last time, I was thinking about functionality and I knew this spoon would work. So good stuff. There we go. That one is caught. Fish number two, and there he's off. I'm glad I got the net in there. All right, and just like that, we're out of the net. Woo, doggy, she's working. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> well. That's unfortunate, you guys. Got the net and everything, and it got out of the net. That one will not count in terms of inches because I couldn't measure it. Okay, I am back to trolling, and I just a couple of things today, everybody, given that I just made a mistake and lost that fish. First of all, uh, because I'm at Badger today, there is the chance I'll catch some walleye. Uh, I wanna remind everybody that the contest is only for pike. I'm not going to refuse catching some walleye, but it's the total inches of pike that I catch. Uh, so if I get a walleye, that's just a bonus. Okay, we got another one. This one took a little bit longer to get than the last ones. Uh, those first two came pretty quick. This one took about another 15 minutes, which I know is not that long, but uh, it kind of went quiet there. And but now we got one. There we go. Got it. And there we go. Fish number three, but let's uh, not celebrate too much. I got to get the measurements on this one yet. That fish is 26 inches. I was off by an inch, 26 inches. There we go, let's do the release. And there it goes. All right. All righty. We got another one. Now, this is just a couple minutes after the last one, so the action is hot here. It's probably similar to the last one. In that mid-20s. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. I'm going to get the net. 
That's a 28 incher. Getting close to 30. All right, we got him off. One last look at that beautiful fish. Let's do the release. There he goes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So it's probably been another 15 minutes since the last one, but I, I had quite a few bites and I didn't uh, get them. So the action is steady. Yeah, once again, maybe a little smaller than the last ones. I'm gonna try to hand land this one. It seems to be hooked a little deeper. Oh, come here, you. Yeah, definitely smaller than the last ones. There we go. That is, wow. I'm off again. That's a 24 inch pike. And you know what? With that, I believe with 24, I think I'm at 99 inches. And gone. <laughs> All right. Woo, what a start. Okay. Okay. We got another one. No, he's not very big. He's just feisty. Nice clear water out here today. There we go. Yeah, definitely not that big. That's a 23, 23 incher. That gets me at 122. <clears throat> All right, just an update you guys. I just wanted to test out the depth uh, today. And so for the last 20 minutes here, I shifted into some shallower water. You can see here, I'm in 2.8. I was actually just coming out of this. I was in two and a half meters. So I was kind of going between 2.4 and 2.8 meters. Just a couple feet, you know, like a foot shallower uh, in that seven foot, maybe eight foot range and nothing. There he is. Set the hook. Well, that's cool. I'm gonna try to grab this one. Got him. That fish is 24. I was off by an inch. 24. Gone. <laughs> I kid you not, 30 seconds later. 30 seconds. Right in the lip. I'm getting them in the good spot today. That's great. Come here, you. Perfect. Perfectly hooked. That is a 24. And there he goes. So another 24 incher. <laughs> okay, you guys. I got another one, but this one took a while to catch. And here's a lesson for everybody on checking your lures. I, uh, I hadn't caught one in about 20 minutes. And that's not a very long time fishing, but sometimes when the action's hot and you've been getting a lot of bites, that seems a little strange. And so I, after about 20 minutes, I pulled up my line and I had a weed on the end of my lure, just a small one, but just enough to stop the fish from, from, uh, from hitting it. I took the weed off and Lo and behold, here we are. That's not a bad one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, that's about a bad one. Ooh, look at that. Got some damage there. A couple different places. That's my biggest of the day, everybody. That's a 29 inch pike right there. Skinny, but 29 inches. Okay, I've got another one here, and if I can land this one, I will be over 200 inches. Uh, this one's got some energy. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> We got it. We got it. That's a decent one. For sure, that's a decent one. 27 inches. 27 inch pike. All right, that puts me at 226. <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. It's already been a great day. I shouldn't say it's gonna be a great day. It's, it's crazy. They have so much energy once this water starts to get a little bit cooler, which is great. They fight really well. That's a nice fish. All right, another one. 27, another 27 incher. There it goes. All right, you guys, I got another one here, but uh, I will say that in the last 15 minutes or so, the conditions have changed a bit here. The wind came up quite a bit and they're starting to get some white caps so uh, that's a little bit stronger than the wind that was supposed to be out here today I, I checked before I came and it was supposed to come up but not quite as much as it is right now so and also it is supposed to calm down a little bit later in the afternoon so I hope that's true for the time being it's a challenge because uh, having just gotten over being sick it's uh, tough to paddle against these waves so but I got one, and it appears to be a decent one. I got it. That is a nice fish right there. Beauty. 29 and a half inches, you guys. <laughs> oh, so close to 30. But still a beautiful fish. Let's let her go. There it goes. Okay, everybody, a bit of an update. Uh, with the wind, I need to take a break. And also my fish finder battery died, so I have I don't have that right at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paddle back to my van. It's probably still gonna take me about 20 minutes to get back there. I'm gonna keep fishing, but I am gonna call this one here because it's been such a successful day already. So for those of you that are interested, 12 fish already. Um, and uh, 11 of them measured, I didn't get to measure one, but 12 fish, it's only been two and a half hours of fishing. I'm closing in on 300 inches. I will put the total that I'm currently at up on the screen right now. And this one's not done. It's gonna be at least a part two. So uh, I'll keep fishing. If I catch some more on the way back to the van, you'll see those and they'll count. Then I'm gonna go take a break and then I am going to change my position on the lake because I gotta get out of this wind. So more to come, but for now, thanks for all of your guesses. Good luck to all of those who guessed over 300 inches because I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass that. And if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.